guys, so I have a huge AC Morris haul right now and before you get into it, I just want to say that the reason I'm doing it like this is because I had a little trouble with how I was doing it in my other hauls with the focusing of the camera and everything. So I just decided to go ahead and do it like this. Um, excuse the dirty table. This is like my art table, like my messy table where I decided to use, you know, my paints and all that stuff. So that is that. And let's just jump right into it. The first things I decided to pick up were, and in one of my other videos I said it as well, I... I want a person who doesn't mind going ahead of time and getting some things. So I decided to get these um, sticker booklets for Easter. Yes, they kind of look a little kiddish, but they're good to go in your planners or anything like that. So I decided to get this one. And you can see, I don't know if it's, maybe I'm zoomed in too much. Okay, so here's this one and it has just all these different pages in it so ooh, as i throw it across the table so here's that one then here's the jelly bean one so it's that one and then here's the easter egg one It just has obviously Easter eggs on it with a different colored background. So there's that. And then I, for like a dollar and like, I think it was like a dollar 88 or a dollar 77 or something like that. I got this little B uh, tape. So it's like washi tape. You can see that. It just uh, has some gold foil like leaves on it. And then they were having some pretty good sales going on and I don't have a uh, AC more where I live anymore which stinks like you wouldn't believe however um, this was only like 45 minutes away so I just decided to go down and check it out along with some other stores that are you know that I have already done videos like haul videos on I found that they have really good prices on things and so, yeah, so this, a lot of the stuff that I got were, was on sale. So, yeah. Anyway, so this is the mink. This is for the mink, and it is um, six by six um, paper. So, here it is. And it's just, like, paper with, like, toner on it. So, then you put the foil over it, and it comes out like that. Can you see that? So, yeah, there's that. Oh, here we go. So we have that. And then I got these stamps. They're cling stamps, and they are from Heidi Grace Designs. I've never heard of them before. And they're, like I said, they're cling stamps. You get 12 in them. And this one is called Travel. So you get all these travel ones. Oh, my gosh, this glare is killing me. So, here we go. And I thought this would be great for in my planner or um, in my travels, like, journal that I made. So, yes, I like that. And this was, how much was this? This was, like, $2.88 or something like that. And then I went ahead and I, they were having, okay, so these are all the paper pads I got. <laughs> I got, two, four, six, I got eight. And they were having a sale where it was two for five dollars, and I couldn't pass them up, so I just had to get them. Um, two of these are not for me, though. Two of these for somebody else. So I'll start with those first. So here's this one. It's called Paisley Pop, and this is an example of all the papers you get in it. As you can tell by the name, it has all these Paisley designs on it. So there's that one. Then here's the other one for the other person. It's called Bouquet of Color. I think this one's really pretty as well. Sorry if the table's squeaking. It's an old table and I found it in like our garage. Um, that's what I'm using for or what I have been using for a while now um, for my craft desk. But if it squeaks, I'm sorry. It's just old. All right. Now starting the paper pads that I decided to get for myself. I first got this Distress Neutrals one. 
And as you can tell by the name, all the like patterns are distressed looking. And I think these will be good with like my Tim Holtz stuff. And then I got this Sweetheart one. It kind of looks Valentine Day-ish, but um, I figured I could use it for anything. So here's this one. And I'm not flipping through them because if you know me, I am very awkward at flipping through stuff. So this is pretty much as good as you're going to get <laughs> because, I don't know, I just find it a, a hard time. I guess I could do it like this, but I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, so this is Garden Party. So this is some of the papers you get in it. So you get the gist. It's, yeah. And then I decided to get this vintage botanical paper pad as well. I don't know why, but I have such a bad problem with trying to stay in frame. Like, I even have a flip screen that I'm looking at to make sure I am in frame, but for some reason, I don't know, either I'm directionally challenged when I try to, you know, go a certain direction to get it more in frame, or I don't know. Most important thing, though, is that I show you the products. So, there's that one. And then I got this Bon Voyage one, which I really like because obviously it has to do with travel. And then, here's just a quick flip through. I like this one. Here's this. This one's nice too. And like flip flops, luggage, planes. Last but not least, I got this Aquarelle one, and this one is like watercolor-ish. Um, it has like that watercolor look to it, and I, I think this one is my favorite one. So here's this. And I forgot what these go for regularly, but I thought for two for five dollars, when with all, this, all these pages, I thought it was a pretty good deal, so I decided to go for it. And because I don't have one near, like, where I live, I thought that since I was there, I would just grab a lot. Because I was there in the moment, so I decided why not. So, there's that one. Now, moving on, their dyes were also on sale. Now, they may not have, a like, a huge amount of selection terms. But, except for like stickers, they had a whole bunch of stickers. But um, in terms of some other areas um, of craft items, they may not have had like a whole big selection of stuff, but their sales were really good. So, um, they had some dyes from Doris, and um, they were on, going being on sale for, they were being on sale? They were on sale for $7, I believe, and 88 cents, and... I can show you them. So these are just like um, a nest of um, square dies. And they originally are like $14 and like, I want to say $14 and anywhere I think above like 75 cents or something like that. The fact was that they were on sale for $7.88, so like 50% off. So I decided to grab just this one. I didn't need any more. Um, I just thought that this would be the most versatile and I could get the most out of this one just because I feel like when you get layered like or nesting dies that are either circles or ovals or just regular like geometric shapes they just have more versatility to them than if I was just to get let's say like a bunny die or something like that so that's what I got and then I decided to pick up a, another art journal and this one's um, specifically for watercoloring I already took I wanted to take this um, cover off so that's what I did but it's the visual journal and it has Strathmore paper in it so this is what it looks like then I just took that off and this is what's underneath so I'm just going to keep it like this and then it just has all these watercolor pages on it it's 140 pound the paper is and um, yeah so it's really nice and thick so I will like carrying this around with me when I travel as well um, in addition to like my travel journal. Yeah, so I think these could be really handy. And they also had one with mixed media paper. 
So again, I'm just going to keep this on here just in case you want to go and check it out. So this is what it looks like. And they have one for, like I said, mixed media. This is watercolor. They had, I want to say might have, they might have had like a drawing one, like with drawing paper in it. And then a Bristol paper one. I want to go back and get the Bristol one because those are really good for like with markers. And um, especially like watercolor markers and pens. They let you really blend the color um, nicely so I want to check this out and so there's that and then I decided to get they were also having a sale on their some of their coloring books and so it was two dollar two for ten dollars so I decided to get this in full bloom one and I like this one because they had a lot of like the outlines were a lot broader they had more space to like color in and I'm sorry guys this lighting is atrocious but anyway so they had um, there was just like a lot more like there's larger space for me to like color in because I'm not the best like colorer I guess to say I like how like big the spaces were so it gives me a lot of room for like blending and just doing other things so that's why I like this one and then I decided to get this one that's called creative quotes and this one is by creative haven and this one is timeless creations and I like this one oh did i show you the pages in here kind of so they have like you know little pictures and images that show you you know what other colors like kind of inspiration or for something for you to go off of um i don't usually look at those because i like to just do whatever i want to do so yeah here are some of the pages so there's that and then here is this one. Like I said, it's called Creative Quotes Coloring Book. So it has like images, like pictures, and then some of them have um, quotes on them. So here's like this one. Family is my anchor. Let your dreams take flight. Some things take time. The best is yet to come. Amazing things are going to happen. Then they have some, obviously, that don't have any words in them, which is nice as well. So, yeah. Oh, I love this one. This one says creativity takes courage. Oh, I might save this for last for coloring, but I really like this one. This one's nice with the lion. So, there are those coloring books. And then we're coming down to the last two items. <sighs> Um, again, along in their like coloring book section, they had different like gel pens and markers and stuff that were on sale as well. So they had these, um, they had some colored pencils and then they had different like brands. So they had these like Art Fantasia, or, uh, Artist, um, premium watercolor pencils and the 24 pack and the 36 pack. And then they also had them in like the regular, just, um, just regular color, like, pe uh, coloring pencils, colored pencils. That's what I mean. Colored pencils. Um, but I decided I wanted to get watercolor pencils because I just love, I love different things like that. So these were, so this was not on sale. This was originally the 24 count one was like $12 and something cents. This one was $16 and something cents, but they had a 50% off coupon. And so I got it for down to like eight something. So I liked it. Um, so here it is. It's the Artist Premium Watercolor Pencils 36. Soft scratch-free application, high color concentration, color disperses with minimum water. So it's 100% wood from well-managed forests. Which is good, I guess, if they're telling the truth. But anyway, so here's the back. And then it's a flip top, so it flips open. Then here are your pencils. So I'm excited to try these out and see how they are. So yeah, there's that. Then last but not least, I got this whole pack of, these are limited edition, but they, I think they've been out for a while. Um, Ultra fine, you get 24 of 80s glam. Um, fine, so ultra fine Sharpie markers. Oh my gosh, I love these. I've also looked at another pack that they had, but 
So I found these and they originally go for $34.99, so like 35 bucks. But one of them is missing. I don't know why, but so they had a tag on it that said special sale was $5.25. So I thought for all of these that originally $35, to get them for $5 was a really good price and I couldn't pass it up. And so I decided just to grab it. So oh, I'm so excited about this purchase. Um, like you wouldn't believe. So yeah, that is everything for this AC Morris haul. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.